So we've now deployed our application, but we're a little bit stuck here because we have a Laravel error. Now, the reason for this is we can't actually find, or, or at least our server can't actually find any of our environmental variables. Now, if you're familiar with Laravel, which I assume you will be, you'll know that within a Laravel project, we have this .env file. Now, this contains environmental variables that we can use to pull in uh, in our config. So, for example, under config uh, database, for example, you can see here that we're using the env helper to pull in the value for db connection. And that here, uh, it doesn't exist, but it will default to something if it does. So we have all of our environmental variables. We're not going to go into these too much. However, we need these to be available. So we're going to copy these. We're going to head over to Envoyer over to servers and we're going to click manage environment. What this will do is it allow us to manage our environmental variables from Envoyer, which will be put onto our server. And then essentially they'll just be loaded in uh, so we can use them. So the first time you do this, you need to be really careful because this is going to ask you for a key. Now this key should be pretty strong, um, but once you lose this key, so if you forget this, then there's no way to access your environmental variables, at least not easy. So I'm going to just type in something very, very basic here, but I'd highly recommend you generate some long key and you keep that in a very safe place to unlock your environment. So I've typed in something here and I'm going to click unlock. I'm going to use that every time I need to reaccess this. And now what I can do is I can paste in the contents of my .env file. So um, we're going to sync to Instacademy prod, which is just our server. We're going to hit update on servers and that's going to go ahead and sync that. And we can wait for that to finish. And there we go. It's done. So just quickly before we uh, check this is working, I'm going to click on this again. You can see it asks me for the same key. So make sure you remember that key and you can unlock and add any more environmental variables here. OK, so now that that's done, let's go over to our project, hit enter. And you can see it's still not working. Now, why is this? Well, we actually need to redeploy for these to take effect. So let's go ahead and deploy once more. We'll wait for that to finish and then we can go ahead and check out the status of our server. So let's keep an eye on this deployment and wait for it to finish. So that looks like it's finished now. We can head over to our domain again and now we have our application successfully deployed. So although a little bit fiddly, now what you can do is whenever you update your environment file on your local machine, so when you ever make a change to this or add something to it, rather than um, you know keeping all this in your version control or whatever, you can have your .env.example file, which contains basically uh, non-secret values. So for example, if you were using Mailgun mail and you had a Mailgun secret, you wouldn't actually add the key here. You would just leave it as it is. You don't want to put that in your version control. And what you can now do is whenever you do make a change, you can head over, unlock your environment. You can go ahead and add it in here, update, and it will go ahead and work with your current application. So we've now looked at environments and we have actually successfully deployed a Laravel 5 application, but pretty much any other application is roughly the same. You should know how to now set up a Forge server and go ahead and deploy with Envoyer.